Talk to us about David Price. David Price is one of my, one of my very close friends in boxing. Uh, uh, I like the guy. You know, when he lost his fight a couple of years ago, he said he's retiring. I was like, don't you don't have to retire, mate. Carry on. You never know what's going to happen. And suddenly, me and my big mouth, <laughs> I'm any more fighting now. But you know what? It is what it is. It's just business. Yeah, because he's a sort of friend of yours. You can call, call him that. What's yeah, that like yeah. going in with someone with someone you consider a friend? Man, it's just business, man. You know, uh, he's got his family. I got my family. You know, uh, just trying to make money for our families right now. I assume you must have sparred him over the, over yeah, the years. Yeah, we sparred so many rounds. You know, in Punch London. You know, when I fight in Vladim Vitali for the first time, he came to Scotland to help me. To Glasgow to help me and stuff like that. So it's been, it was good, good rounds and uh, good stuff went down. What's the um, situation with the trainer? What, what's the training situation? Who's going to do the corner and stuff like that? We're only two weeks out now. What can you tell us about that? Um, to be honest with you, I'm doing my own corner. You know, I, David has been saying we have to get a coach. I'm like, no, I don't want a coach. Again, I've been boxing for years. I know how to train myself and stuff like that. Just write the program and I'm doing myself. Just all we need ourselves right now. Even on fight night? Even on fight night, yeah. Derek, do you feel like you may have had a bit of a touch in the fact that you've still got a big fight? But you've perhaps got a fight that is easier than Joseph Parker? <sighs> Mate, I just, everybody, I'm, listen man, there's nothing easy in the heavyweight game, bro. Let's all be honest. You know, there's nothing easy in the heavyweight game. You know, a guy can come in there, he hasn't boxed for two years, and then suddenly, wow, wham, it's a knockout. It's a hard game, you know. Uh, David Price is a big guy, he's from up north, so it's going to be a good fight. Derek, this is going to be your sixth fight in a row with the O2. It must feel like your second home in there now. No, the O2, the O2 is a home, home from home, man. I love the O2s is nearby. I get the train there, walk in there, get, get my dressing room, you know, ready to rock and roll. You know, home of boxing, you know. So I'm just, I'm just chuffed about boxing at O2 again. Where were you when you first found out about the news about Joseph Poker? Um, where was I? Uh, I just finished training. I just finished sparring. <laughs> and David called me and goes, oh, I want to talk to you. Like every time you want to talk to me, it's either bad news or good news. So give me the bad news first, and he goes, "Oh, he's pulled out." I'm like, "So how long you know him for?" Because I know him for about three days. <laughs> I was like, "Great, <laughs> that's the manager you need." Don't he? <laughs> Keeps all the good secrets to himself. So well, he told me anyway. Because I didn't want to disrupt your training first floor. I know he won't disrupt me. And that was—it's boxing, man. You know, it's happened before. So your initial response was just right, okay, that's fine. Who's next? Yeah, I was like, we're gonna go because you have to understand. Uh, you know, when when fighters pull out, you know, people spend—I spend money, you know, training camp and this and that and that and that. So when somebody pulls out, that's money down the line, even for himself. So uh, you know. I'm just happy that somebody else has stepped in to rock and roll. You've almost seen a rejuvenated confidence in David Price since that day back fight. Are you expecting the best version of him in this fight? Yeah, I'm expecting the baddest David Price in this fight, man. He's going to be on it. Do you think this is a more dangerous fight than the Parker fight? Every fight is dangerous, bro. You know, every fight is dangerous. There's nothing. Every fight you take is dangerous. That's all I can say. Derek, how much do you know about this Joe Joyce offer? Frank Warren said. You know what, yeah, especially we've got the cameras right now, yeah, I was gonna, I'm just going to put this out there. Frank Warren needs to stop saying my name. That's what I'm saying. You carry on saying my name, I'm going to be very upset with him now. He needs to stop saying my name. He's a dinosaur in the young man's game. You know, there's young promoters out there. Frank Warren needs to leave the, pop, the promotion now to his kids. You know, his son George is a good promoter. He should just let George promote. Frank Warren, you need to retire. Which camera is it? Frank Warren, you need to retire and go hang out with your grandkids. The boxing game is not yours anymore. Yeah, so don't ever, ever say my name anymore. Is the George Joyce fight still something you're interested in? I don't need to fight George Joyce. What am I fighting George Joyce for? I told him an offer already. If they go come back with that offer. Listen, when did Frank Warren ever put a bigger show? The last big show Frank Warren put on was with me. And that was it. That's it. That is it. He hasn't put any big show on, and that's it. Another person that um, was interested to fight you was actually Shannon Briggs. I spoke to him at the KSI Logan Paul press conference. Um, he said, obviously, with Ed Eddie putting that tweet out, he was, he was very interested. But he also labelled you a journeyman due to your record. What are you, what's your thoughts on that? Listen, if I want to hype, man, I'll get Shannon Briggs. <laughs> Do you understand? 
He called me a journeyman. <laughs> he's a hype man. What's better, journeyman or a hype man? <laughs> you know, he's a hype man for KSA. He's a hype man for AJ. He's a hype man for anybody. Let's go what? Let's go up. Let's go fool. He's the guy's got one eye glass guy, man. He's a fool, man. Derek, you mentioned you wanted to fight Jarrell Miller. Is that a fight you're looking out for 2020, perhaps? Yeah. Jarrell Miller's next. 100%.